Do crystals actually have superpowers? Metaphysical properties that help bring financial blessing, help your love life, help your emotional well-being? Do they actually have a energetic properties that, that help facilitate the energies of the human body? Or are they simply just rocks and gemstones with, you know, beautiful appearance and pretty amazing looks and are just pleasing to the eyes. Well, in the new age and in many, you know, spiritual circles in the occult as well, they are actually worshipped as having divine supernatural powers. Now, in the new age, since it's blended with sort of science and ancient knowledge, ancient religions, spiritualities, they say that, you know, because they can in science, they can literally beam in laser beams to make holograms being stored in a quartz crystal where you can see the image imprinted. So pretty much that the crystal can store this image, this energy within it to then be viewed at a later time. Well, in the New Age, they believe that your emotions can be stored in these rocks as well. Not just this type of energy, but your emotional energy. Now, it gets to the extreme where people literally have these crystals with them all the time. You know, they feel like they're having a bad day. They go through a breakup. They get a crystal. They get a crystal that supposedly helps with, with those types of things. Or, you know, they start a new business. They buy crystals that, that help with financial uh, things. And you can look online on the properties of crystals. You'll find thousands, tens of thousands of websites that go through hundreds of different crystals and all the spiritual, emotional, and metaphysical benefits and properties that each has. My question is, is it legit? Should it be something that anyone, especially Christians, are engaged in? You know, what are the possible dangers of this? Well, coming from me, I used to be heavily into crystals. I would buy extremely expensive crystals that I literally thought warded off negative entities, spirits. I would burn sage to try and ward off demons because I started realizing, you know, demons are real. This this is a re spiritual realm is real. I had other crystals that I thought just looked cool. And then I had others where I actually thought they influenced the, the, the biomagnetic field of the human body and the emotions that are associated with it. Because there's a lot of science about how, you know, our nervous system is actually measurable. Uh, the infrared light, we can actually measure a certain kind of energy around our body that isn't visible to the human eye but is tangible in another sense you know the, the heart and and different organs actually you know produce specific uh energies um, that the cells kind of operate in it you know a lot of it is new age jargon but there also is truth to it as well you know there is truth to the electrical um, property of the human body and the bioconductivity. So when you p pair the crystals with this, people go, people go wild. People go bananas. Look at the beauty industry. There's now crystals everywhere with applying your serum and applying your makeup and all these different things. You rub the crystals on your face and you rub it on specific areas of the body, different organs that it heals. And where it gets dangerous is people start putting their faith in these crystals rather than putting their faith in Christ, in God. People go to these crystals for healing instead of going to Jesus for healing. You know, they think that these crystals have these powers, these supernatural powers that instead of going to the Holy Spirit for, they go to the crystals for. They become idols. People worship them. People go outside and charge them in the full moon light. Literally, that's a thing. How to charge your crystals. This does not provide lasting benefits. What does is going to the Lord, going to the Lord in prayer, actually coming to know who Jesus is. He's living. We serve a living God. All of creation created by a living God who came to earth and his name is Jesus. When you put your faith in these crystals and you start getting obsessed with all these crystals, I'm telling you, I've seen it before. People get away from Christ. People get away from the faith. They stop having a love, a burning love for Jesus, for the word. And they get into all these other things, all these other healing modalities. They got their Qigong meditation. They got their yoga practice. They got their, you know, uh, some even get into hypnosis and, and bio, uh, biohacking and all these different regiments that they start doing. 
and boom, they get away from prayer. Boom, they get away from fasting. Boom, they get away from reading the word. It's because they go to a source for healing that isn't the true source. They go to these rocks that they think have supernatural powers, but they don't go to the true rock, which is Christ. If you're into crystals, you think they're beautiful, hey, power to you. I also think some are just incredibly beautiful, and I'm not against that. You know, look at heaven. It's adorned with gemstones and ruby and topaz and amethyst, and the Lord used on the breastplate of the early priests. And, you know, God created these things. They're beautiful. They're meant to be, you know, seen as beautiful. But when you get to the point where you're placing spiritual supernatural power in things and you're going to it instead of Christ, that's when it becomes a danger. And let me tell you, I knew psychics in the new age, in the occult, who could look at a crystal and they would know where it's been. They would literally know where it has been. They know, you know, the, 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 the emotions that were kind of quote unquote stored in it. Now you would think, whoa, then, then maybe that means that the crystal actually has that. Okay. Well then what about the mediums who channel, uh, supposedly your dead relatives and they can speak to the dead. It's obvious in Deuteronomy chapter 18 that this is an abomination to God, but it's still done. How do they know this information about your dead relative that you didn't even know? It's because they're communicating with spirits and demons that are watching. These psychics, they're communicating with spirits, divination spirits. They know a lot of information and they're channeling into the wrong spirit. They're not connecting to the Holy Spirit. So it might seem like there's power, there's signs and wonders. You know, even the Antichrist will perform great signs and wonders that even the elect might be deceived. But it doesn't mean that it's right and it's coming from the right source. So just because there's incredible things you're seeing with these crystals, it's, it's a huge distraction. It's a huge distraction. And it doesn't bear fruit. So my recommendation is if you've got kind of a weird obsession with them, you've kind of been on the fence, you don't really know, trust the word and trust science. It's not proven that these will heal your heart and bring you financial blessings. This is, this is charming. This is, you know, this is kind of spells and witchcraft type stuff. And you're putting your faith in these rocks instead of putting your faith in Christ. So just stick to Jesus. If you like these for physical beauty, hey, that's awesome. Keep at it. You know, art is great. We're supposed to enjoy certain things in life that God has created. But again, if you're getting tied into this and it's kind of luring you away and it's kind of, you know, becoming a fascination with you, just, just turn away from it. Don't keep going deeper. Because you're going to end up in so many different things that say they can heal you, that say they can help your life, but really don't. And they really lead you away from the true healer, which is Jesus Christ. And he's alive and you can know him right now. You can cry out to him right now. You can talk to him right now. Go talk to Jesus. Go talk to Jesus. He's your healer. Holy Spirit's your comforter. All you need is him. So I hope this blesses you guys. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Throw a like, subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos on all this stuff, the new age, coming from someone who's been in it. I literally had dozens and dozens of crystals, some hundreds of dollars, big ones. I had books on all the properties that they had, supposedly. And I came to realize that, you know, most of it is completely false. Completely false. So right when I turned to Jesus, everything changed. That's when all the healing began to come because that's what he wants to do. He wants to heal. He's the healer. So God bless you guys. Have a great day.